Hi viewers, you are watching Millennium Academy Accounting Hub. In this video I will give you a detailed lecture on last in first out method. Important key points of this lecture. What is last in first out method? Why LIFO is a controversial inventory valuation method. How to prepare a store ledger account under the last in first out method. Let's start. LIFO stands for last in, first out. The pricing of an inventory under the assumption that the last items received were the first items sold. This means that the cost of goods sold will be based on current prices. Why is LIFO a controversial inventory valuation method? LIFO is controversial for a number of reasons. It can distort the financial statements of a company. It can give companies an unfair tax advantage. It can create artificial volatility in a company's earnings. It can be difficult to implement and maintain. For these reasons, LIFO is not allowed under International Financial Reporting Standards, IFRS. However, it is still allowed under generally accepted accounting principles, GAAP, in the United States. Dear students, now I will teach you how to prepare a store ledger account under the LIFO method. Let's start to solve this question. Company name and store ledger account LIFO method perpetual should be written above the store ledger account. The store ledger will have four main columns. The first column will be date, the second will be received or purchases, the third will be sales or issued and the last column will be balance, received. Issued and balance columns will be further divided into three columns. Unit, per unit and total value. For convenience the question is placed in front of store ledger account. Now date wise transactions will be recorded in the store ledger account. November 1st opening inventory 300 units at $5 per unit. This transaction will be recorded in the balance column. 300 units are recorded in the units column. Per unit $5 and the total value is $1,500. November 4 purchase 200 units at 7 per unit. This transaction will be recorded in the received column. 200 units will be recorded in the units column at $7 per unit. Total value is $1,400. Now the balance of November 1st will be recorded first, then the balance of November 4th will be recorded. November 6 sales 100 units. 100 units will be issued out of 200. Because LIFO method assumes that the most recently purchased items are the first ones sold. Now we take the current price that is $7 per unit and the total value is $700. The remaining units will be recorded in the balance column. 300 units will record a total cost of $1,500 at the rate of 5. Out of 200 units, 100 units were issued. Now the remaining 100 units will be 700 records at the rate of 7 per unit. November 7, sales 200 units. 100 units will be issued at 7 per unit, and the remaining 100 units will be issued out of 300 units at 5 per unit. The remaining 200 units will be recorded in the balance column at 5 per unit and the total value is $1,000. November 9 purchases 500 units at 10 per unit. 500 units will be recorded in the received column at 10 per unit and the total value is $5,000. In the balance column first recorded 200 units at 5 per unit and the total value is $1,000. Then 500 units will be recorded at 10 per unit and the total value is $5,000. November 10 sales 150 units. 150 units will be issued from 500 units at 10 per unit and the total value is $1,500. In the balance column, 200 units at 5 per unit, and the total value is $1,000. After issuing 150 units from 500, the remaining 350 units at 10 per unit, and the total value is $3,500. Summary the total value of closing inventory is $4,500. Cost of goods sold is $3,400. The total value of purchases is $6,400. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any other questions. If you like a video then please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for regular updates.